Good evening. Welcome to Senior Awards Night. Uh, we are coming to you this evening from inside of our auditorium. Uh, we certainly didn't think that we were going to be doing this virtually twice uh, as we did with the class of 2020, but we're uh, happy to honor and acknowledge all of our graduating seniors in the class of 2021 this evening. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have a wonderful time. For the scholarship given by Adams Elementary School, this year's recipient of the Adams Elementary School PTO Scholarship remembers participating in the band and going to fifth grade camp. She plans to attend Albion College and major in sociology and forensic psychology. This year's recipient is Taya Biffle. Congratulations. For the Fisher Scholarship, this year's recipient of the Fisher Elementary School PTO Scholarship shared that her fondest memories of attending Fisher Elementary include going away from home for the first time to attend fifth grade camp. She plans to attend Michigan State University and study dietetics and then return to South Redford to help with our food service systems in the schools. This year's recipient is Maya Price. Congratulations. For the Jefferson Scholarship, this year's recipient of the Jefferson Elementary School PTO Scholarship remembers helping out with Girl Scouts by cleaning the community, planting trees, and creating murals with recycled plastic bottles and bottle caps. She plans to attend the University of Michigan at Dearborn and major in psych physiology. This year's recipient is Sydney Payne. Congratulations. For the Vandenberg Scholarship, this year's recipient of the Vandenberg Elementary School PTO Scholarship shared a variety of touching memories of her time at Vandenberg. She said, when I was in first grade, my parents could not afford to purchase a Christmas tree for us. I was so disappointed because I remember other kids being excited to decorate their tree, and it seemed like I was the only one that didn't have one. I expressed this to my principal, Mrs. Malik, and she gave me and my siblings a ride home from a choir concert. The next day, when I got home from school, there was a big box waiting for me, and inside was a Christmas tree and ornaments. I must have told the entire school about receiving it. I was so excited. The act of kindness I always keep with me, and I will always be thankful and grateful for it, because it taught me that there are still great people out there in this world, and that I should treat others the way I want to be treated, no matter what financial situation they are in. I really hope that I can strive to put a smile on people's faces every day like she did for me. This year's recipient is Chimazu Ndukwe. Congratulations. For the Pierce Scholarships. The PTO at Pierce recognizes two students each year. This year's first recipient participated in Science Olympiad, cheerleading, track and field, National Junior Honor Society, and the Eagle Scholars Program while at Pierce. She plans to attend Eastern Michigan University and study environmental science with a concentration in environmental biology. This year's recipient is Tania Richardson. Congratulations. This year's second recipient of the Pierce Middle School PTO Scholarship has a wonderful memory to share of his time at Pierce. He said, eating in the lunchroom was often overwhelming for me and my friend group. So I was very grateful when Miss Coos allowed me to eat in her classroom during lunch. It was very quiet, fun, and relaxing to converse with my friends and Mrs. Coos every day. It made me feel very supported as a student and it helped create a stronger trust with a, str a stronger trust with and respect for my teacher. This year's recipient is Eli Shweda. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Laura Reiners and I serve as the Community Relations Director at GrowthWorks, a local nonprofit providing juvenile justice, substance abuse, and family resources to the community for 50 years. 
We are proud to partner with the South Redford School District, providing students with the resources and support to achieve both academic and personal success. This year has been challenging for all of us, yet some of us have used these challenges to grow in ways they never could have imagined. Today, I am honored to recognize a student who has overcome significant challenges because as we know, it is not our challenges that define us, but how we use them that shapes who we become. As we all know, our growth isn't always linear. A family illness launched the student into adulthood and they needed to grow up quicker than most. At a time when they were concerned for a dear loved one, they were also responsible for the care of younger siblings and for their own responsibilities. This is a challenge for many adults and requires great maturity to recognize the needs of others before our own. Through these challenges, the student admits that they struggled, but it was through those struggles that they found their strength. They share a crucial message that is true for all of us, to never take a single day for granted because you never know when it might be your last opportunity. I also want to commend this student is because they share that they struggled to reach out for assistance, but when they found the courage to ask for help, teachers and other supporters were there to assist them with open arms. I have no doubt that you will go on to do many great things. Congratulations and good luck to Naraya Johnson, the winner of the 2021 GrowthWorks Scholarship. This year, we have the incredible opportunity to offer one Thurston High School student the Johnson Pritchard Grit Scholarship. This is a $5,000 renewable scholarship awarded to a student who is going into the fields of education, social work, psychology, or other helping fields. This award in its inaugural gift is awarded to Jessica Kennedy. Congratulations, Jessica. Hi, Jessica, I'm Laura Hain, and my parents, Marilyn and Paul Johnson, were the major donors for the Pritchard Johnson Grit Scholarship. We are so excited for you to be the first recipient of this scholarship. You've been working so hard and you are so deserving of the funds to be able to help you complete your education at Michigan State University. We couldn't be more excited for you um, in your future plans of being an English teacher and a psychology minor. I think that is a great idea and will be so helpful and useful to the people that you will influence in your life. Uh, my mom, Marilyn, was a teacher over at Fisher Elementary and she helped to teach reading. I taught fifth grade at Fisher Elementary for several years and my dad was a psychologist. And my mom went to Michigan State and my son goes to Michigan State. So we are right here for you excited for you and um, really in support of all your educational goals. Please remember that this is a renewable scholarship. So next year when you go to pay again for school, remember that you have these funds for four years and we are excited to help to support that four-year plan for trying to complete school. So thank you so much for applying, Jessica, and we wish you the very best. We are so very proud of you and are excited to support you in your educational journey. Way to go. On behalf of the Board of Education of the South Redford School District, we are here virtually, of course, to present the 2021 Board Trustee Scholarship Award. The Board of Education started this scholarship many years ago with the intent of recognizing and rewarding a student who stood out among their peers. Scholarship applicants had scores weighed on several criteria, including, but not limited to, service to community, service to school, participation in school activities, as well as academics. Where this becomes difficult is when we have so many students who excel as Eagles. This year, we had seven strong applicants. Voting was close, but only one applicant can be selected. This year, the board is honoring Naraya Johnson for her service to the community, service to the school, and her achievement in affirming the, her academic and personal goals in high school. 
Thank you, Naraya, for representing Thurston High School in such a fine way. Thank you to all of the 2021 scholarship applicants for your hard work and excellence in educational pursuits. We look forward to seeing Naraya and all of the applicants enter into our community and the world as representatives of South Redford School District. Be safe and keep soaring, Eagles. On behalf of the South Redford Education Association, I would like to congratulate all of the graduating seniors in the class of 2021. Thank you to all who applied for the SREA College Scholarship. On behalf of the SREA Executive Board, I would like to congratulate Jessica Kennedy of Thurston High School for being the selected recipient of the $1,000 scholarship to help pursue her dream of becoming a next generation educator. Congratulations, Jessica. Hello, my name is Lorna Rao Duran, class of 1968. Today, it is my pleasure and honor to represent Thurston High School Alumni Association and present the second Alumni Association Scholarship to a graduating senior. This $1,000 scholarship is being presented to a student who is attending a Michigan college or trade school. A committee reviewed the 23 applications and we are in agreement. Our selection not only has a vision for their immediate future in school, but also after their post-secondary education experience. In addition, this person has contributed to their community and we believe will do so in future years. It is my honor to announce that the second Alumni Association Scholarship is awarded to Jessica Kennedy. On behalf of the Alumni Association, I want to wish you the best of luck at Michigan State University and in your career. I also hope that you not only you, Jessica, but also your classmates have much success as all of you travel the various paths that you will take. May you also remember to serve your community and to share your gifts with others. And please remember to support THS in future years. You'll be receiving information about the Alumni Association, and I hope that you and the other graduating seniors will connect with us so that we can maintain contact with you after you leave Thurston High School. Congratulations and best wishes to everyone. Thank you. Hello, I'm Christine Hubbard, and I'm here to present the William F. Weber Graduating Senior Scholarship at the 2021 Honors Celebration on behalf of the South Redford Foundation. So it frequently happens that there are so many students of accomplishment that it is difficult to choose just one. And so this year, we are very pleased to present two graduating senior scholarships to students who have demonstrated great personal and academic merit and uh, have made contributions to our South Redford community. So these students um, really exemplify the integrity and leadership qualities we look for in our recipients and have given so much during their time here at Thurston. And so we are very pleased to present the two graduating senior scholarships to Miss Shara Lee and Miss Nicole Slaughter. Congratulations, ladies. And now the Redford Chamber Scholarship. The Redford Chamber offers college scholarship opportunities to graduating high school seniors. In order to apply, an applicant need only be a Redford resident planning to attend a college, trade, or academy school in the fall semester immediately following their graduation. This year's recipients of the Redford Chamber Scholarship are all from Thurston High School, and they are Abigail Smith, Maya Price, Naraya Johnson, and Sydney Payne. Congratulations. The next portion of our program is focused on the awards earned by our highest achieving students this year. In order to receive highest honors, students must have a GPA of 3.9 or higher for their entire high school career. The following students have earned highest honors. Fadl Al Husseini, Abigail Smith, Angel Dantzler, Jessica Kennedy, and Leah Williams. The next group of students have received high honors. 
which means that they have a career GPA of a 3.75 to 3.89. Those students are Maya Price, Shelby Hogan, Rachel Cassatt, Nicole Slaughter, and Naraya Johnson. The last group of students receiving honors for the 2021 school year have a career GPA of 3.5 to 3.74. Those students are Tania Richardson, Shania Clark, Eli Shweda, Mariah Simmons, and Sydney Payne. The following students are earning senior academic letters, meaning that over the past seven semesters at Thurston, they have earned a cumulative GPA of a 3.33 or higher. Congratulations to Fadl Al Husseini, Shania Allison, Elon Baldwin, Keith Carter, Rachel Cassatt, Shania Clark, Lillian Cunningham, Angel Dantzler, Noah Decky, Latia Hall, Joseph Heck, Shelby Hogan, Chai Hutch, Nyla Jackson, Naraya Johnson, Sheridan Jones, Jessica Kennedy, Dylan Krause, Joseph Lawson, Chimatsu Ndukwe, Mariah Parks, Paulette Pawa, Sydney Payne, Maya Price, Tania Richardson, Eli Shweda, Mariah Simmons, Nicole Slaughter, Abigail Smith, Liam Stevenson, Nichelle Walker, Jayla Williams, and Leah Williams. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. I am Moses Price. Um, I have three very special awards that I'm gonna to present to you. Uh, the first one is the Observer Land Academic All-Star Team. The students nominated for this academic team have met a specific set of standards outlined by the Observer, including GPA and college entrance test scores. Thurston is asked to submit the names of our top two students meeting this criteria. This year, our two nominees are Fado Al Hussein and Abigail Smith. Congratulations. The next award that I'll be presenting is the WXYZ Channel 7 Brightest and Best. The Brightest and Best was created to heighten awareness of academic excellence uh, while providing positive role models and salutes an outstanding graduating senior. This year's recipient of the Brightest and Best Award from Thurston is Fado Al Hussein. Congratulations. The final award that I'll be presenting tonight is the Robert C. Byrd Scholarship nominee. The scholarship established by Congress and named after the U.S. Senator provides merit scholarships to high school graduates who have demonstrated academic excellence and achievement. The selection of the Byrd Scholarship recipient was coordinated with the academic all-state team program administered by the Michigan Association of Secondary School Principals in cooperation with the Detroit Free Press. This year's nominee from Thurston was Fado Al Husseini. Congratulations. For well over half a century, the National Honor Society has worked to bring the achievements of outstanding high school students to the attention of their classmates, their parents, and their communities. The following senior members have given practical meaning to the society's dedication to scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Every year, we like to recognize our senior members of the National Honor Society. These students get to wear yellow cords at the graduation ceremony, provided they have earned their 20 hours of community service during the school year. This year's senior members of the National Honor Society are Angel Dantzler, Adebola Fag Fagade, Joseph Heck, Shelby Hogan, Naraya Johnson, Sheridan Jones, Jessica Kennedy, Chimazu Ndungwe, Maya Price, Tania Richardson, Eli Shweda, Mariah Simmons, Abigail Smith, Cyan Williams, and Leah Williams. The Triumph Music Honor Society honors students who are not only incredibly talented musicians, but also have demonstrated leadership and high academic achievement. The following are members of the Triumph Music Honor Society for the 2020-2021 school year. Abigail Smith, Naraya Johnson, Maya Price, Eli Shweda, Brielle Darnell, and Brooklyn Ogden. 
Good evening. My name is Rory Hughes, and I am the coordinator of the Eagle Scholars, South Redford's honors program that extends from 6th through 12th grade. Among other requirements, students in the program must maintain rigorous academic standards, participate in extracurriculars, and complete a senior portfolio. I have had the privilege of knowing these students since seventh grade, a time when just surviving middle school felt like an accomplishment. And here they are, young adults, looking forward to start in the fall at places like Wayne State, CMU, U of M, Michigan State, Western Michigan, and many others. And many of these students have earned scholarships close to and including full rides. Thank you all for being the most flexible graduating class in history. It will serve you well. So when I call your name, please stand up and step forward to the virtual stage. Noah Dishi, Joseph Heck, Sheridan Jones, Jessica Kennedy, Abigail McIntyre, Chelsea Moore, Sydney Payne, Paris Robertson, Mariah Simmons, Liam Stevenson, Ilan Baldwin, Adabola Fagad. And the following students are being recognized for their exceptional contributions to the program. Please step forward to the virtual stage. Fathul Al Husseini, Keith Carter, Rachel Kassat, Angel Dantzler, Samuel Harris, Shelby Hogan, Naraya Johnson, Chimazu Ndukwe, Yudoka Oswoa, Kamari Page, Paulette Pawa, Maya Price, Tania Richardson, Eli Shweda, Abby Smith, and Leah Williams. Congratulations. Good evening. The Business Key Award is awarded to a student who demonstrates a strong interest in pursuing a career in a business-related field by the courses they have completed during high school. I have had the privilege to watch this student grow into a focused, self-motivated, and goal-orientated young lady. Throughout this difficult school year, I have been extremely fortunate to have had her in three of my classes and could see firsthand the dedication, hard work, and perseverance she put into her studies daily. She never missed a Zoom session, she was always prepared and very eager to learn whatever I had planned for the day. I truly look forward to these classes knowing she would be eager to participate. This young lady will be attending U of M in the fall where she will be pursuing a degree in human resource management and there is no doubt in my mind that she will do great things. It is my pleasure to announce this year's Business Key Award to Nicole Slaughter. Congratulations, Nicole. You truly deserve this award, and I look forward to watching what you can accomplish and following your career. Good evening. My name is Nikia Moy Pugh. I am the English department head here at Thurston High School, and I also teach African American Literature, English 11, and ELA Proficiency Plus. This evening, I have the pleasure of presenting the English Department Key Award to a talented writer and intellectual who also is an avid reader with a robust penchant for history and social justice. The English Department Key Award is granted to a senior who has demonstrated extraordinary skill, creativity, growth, and overall excellence in the English language arts. Tonight's recipient has time and time again shown great resilience in her learning and improving of her craft in writing, both analytically and creatively, throughout her career at Thurston High School. She's done this in Honors English, AP Literature and Language, as a member of Poetry Club, and this year as a member of our newly revamped African American Literature course. It is my distinct honor to present the 2021 English Department Key Award to Angel Dantzler. Angel, on behalf of the entire English department, I want to congratulate you on a job well done. We look forward to seeing all of the wonderful, relevant, innovative, and socially conscious pieces you compose in the future. Thank you. 
On behalf of the math department, I'm proud to, to bestow the Math Key Award to Abigail Smith. Mrs. Holstein writes, I had the pleasure of having Abby as a student for the last two years. She is the type of student who pushes herself to excel in her academics and has taken every upper level math class that Thurston offers. This year, she took it upon herself to take AP Calculus as an independent study class. I know Abby will continue to do great things as she heads to Michigan State University to pursue her studies in zoology. And I'd like to add, um, I had Abby as a student and found her inquisitive, hardworking, and an absolute delight to have in class. Congratulations, Abby. My name is Tim Shaner, and it is my honor to serve as the Director of Choirs for South Redford School District. Each year, Thurston High School presents the National School Choral Award. The award recipient will have their name engraved on a plaque alongside the names of winners from previous years. This plaque remains permanently affixed on the wall outside the choir classroom. In addition, our award recipient will receive a certificate. The text on the certificate reads as follows. In recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement, of outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program, and of an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of conduct. It is my pleasure to present the National School Choral Award for Thurston High School 2021 to Miss Leah Williams. Hello, Thurston family. My name is Mrs. Donikowski, and I'm representing the Physical Education Department. This year was extremely challenging for us as we had to attempt to teach physical education classes completely online. Thank goodness I didn't have to teach swimming virtually, but recreating my aerobics class was no easy feat. Thank goodness I also had one special lady, Nicole Slaughter, there with me to work it all out. From workout apps and recorded Zumba sessions to circuit timers and weekly workout forms, Nicole gave feedback and input to make our online aerobics classes work. She even helped me test our circuit timer on a Saturday morning in order to make our aerobics class challenging and fun and one to remember. Nicole, I truly appreciate your dedication to fitness and your stellar work ethic that made this year something special. Thank you so much. You are a tremendous help and without a doubt this year's Physical Education Key Award recipient. Congratulations. The Science Key is awarded to a student that exemplifies outstanding performance in all areas of science. I had this student in my chemistry and AP chemistry classes and one of the things I appreciated about him was his constant curiosity about whatever we were learning. Even if he had a good handle on whatever we were studying, he always continued to try and learn more about that subject, showing kindness and respect to classmates that might be struggling in the same area. He, showed, he has shown this type of inquisitiveness in all of the science classes he's taken, ranging from physics, astronomy, AP biology, AP chemistry, and anatomy. Outside of his classes, he has taken his love of science to working with the Science Olympiad team and working with the school's greenhouse this past year. In addition to being an outstanding science student, he is all around a, a wonderful and kind person. It is with great pleasure that the science department awards the science key to follow Al Hassani. Okay, congratulations to Ilan Baldwin on winning the STEM Key Award for en Achievements in the Studies of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. I have watched Ilan grow into a dedicated young woman over her time at Thurston. Her politeness and kindness adds to her bright personality. Notably, Ilan spent several weeks debugging a computer program in AP Computer Science principles. Many students don't like the debugging process as it can be difficult and frustrating. Ilan persevered and worked hard in Zoom meetings to solve each bug in her program and was successful. That attitude is why I believe Ilan will succeed in studying STEM further and end up with a great career. Congratulations, Ilan, and best of luck on all your endeavors. Keep in touch with us back in person. 
Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Brader, and before I present the Source Studies Key Award, I just want to say congratulations to all the honor students uh, who made it through uh, what was a very strange and interesting year uh, for their senior year. Um, the Source Studies Key Award every year is given to a student who achieves at a super high level uh, at, while at the same time taking all of our most difficult courses throughout their four years here at Thurston. Um, this year's recipient uh, is winning the award um, not just because of their great achievement in all of their social studies courses, including AP classes, but also for the growth that they've shown throughout their time uh, at Thurston, starting as a freshman, as a very good student who got good grades, uh, and finishing as an outstanding student who showed um, incredible curiosity and uh, critical analysis um, of all of the different stuff that we cover in the humanities. Uh, this year's recipient um, is not just, like I said, getting this award because of their great grades, but also because of their um, inquisitive nature and their passion for, for social studies topics and classes, and also their continued growth and their leadership in their time here at Thurston. So it's my pleasure uh, to announce the 2021 Social Studies Departmental Key Award uh, going to Maya Price. Congratulations, Maya. You did a great job. Hello, Christine Hubbard here again to present the 2021 Drama Key. So the Drama Key is bestowed each year upon a graduate who shows exemplary leadership and uh, consistently upholds the values of our department. So this year's recipient is um, a versatile actress. She's graceful as both a lead and an ensemble performer. And she um, brought an incredible heart and soul to our club. Uh, she is capable and coachable and was willing to take risks as a very experienced performer. So um, it was an honor to work with her and it is an honor now to send her off to the next phase of her life and learning. And um, with that, I am beyond proud to present the 2021 Drama Key to Miss Tania Richardson. This year's Art Key Award goes to a student who has shown incredible creative thinking in every art medium that they have tried out and whose artistic journey is only just beginning here in high school. I'm personally, personally incredibly excited to see where their art career will take them past high school. It is my pleasure to present this year's Art Key Award to Mac Turk. Darren Wells, congratulations. I'm very happy to give you this award for German. You have been an amazing student. It's been such a pleasure to get to know you and to have you in class. You're hardworking. You help others. You have improved so much in German, and I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. You're an amazing young man, and I can't wait to hear what you're up to. This year's award recipients have faced an ongoing changes in our world with no certainty from season to season. There have been delays, pauses, and cancellations. Athletics has taught us all that we need to prepare for sudden change. Being able to adapt and overcome things that are out of our control help prepare us for the real world. It'll be difficult to look back on these past 16 months without feeling of disappointment or even regret. But if there's one thing we've learned from this experience is that we need to focus on our accomplishments and our future. The Diana Bastine Honorarium Award presented by the Thurston Athletic Department and the Athletic Boosters is given to two seniors, one male, one female, who have excelled in the following categories, scholarship achievement, service to school, school and team spirit. Both students participated in athletics in two sports their senior year, while preparing for graduation and doing so while adapting to the new classroom speaks highly of our recipients. She has maintained a 4.1135 GPA while he has a 3.3778 GPA. Coaches and staff describe both as mature young people that are quiet leaders that lead through example rather than by words. As both continue on to pursue their educational experiences, their contributions to Thurston and South Redford will be missed. In addition to receiving this award, each will receive a $750 scholarship from the Athletic Boosters. 
This year's recipients of the Diana Bastine Honorarium Award are Abigail Smith and Liam Stevenson. I'd like to congratulate both and wish good luck to them and all Eagles in their future. Go Blue. Seniors were asked to send in their college acceptance letters and scholarship award letters to the counseling office. The scholarships recognized in tonight's program were those that were shared with the counselors by our seniors. The class of 2021 has been offered $954,259 as of now in scholarships, grants, and awards. If you have been offered a scholarship that is not in tonight's program, please send a copy of the award letter to your counselor. We know that this number is likely even larger, but we, may only, but we only know about the scholarships that you have already shared with us. Ilan Baldwin. Eastern Michigan University Emerald Scholarship, University of Arizona Recognition Award. Angel Dantzler, Oakland University Distinguished Scholar Award, and Oakland University Geographic Region Award. Latia Hall, Eastern Michigan, Eastern Michigan University Emerald Scholarship, St. Xavier University Merit Scholarship, and St. Xavier University Residence Hall, Hall Award. Naraya Johnson, Albion College Commitment, the Albion College Presidential Scholarship, the Albion College Presidential Visit Scholarship, the Albion College Senior Visit Scholarship, Grand Valley State University Laker Scholarship, Eastern Michigan University Emerald Scholarship, and the Redford Chamber Scholarship. Udoka Osuho, University of Michigan Dearborn Hale Scholarship. Sydney Payne, University of Michigan Dearborn Academic Scholarship and Redford Chamber Scholarship. Maya Price, Eastern Michigan University Scholarship, Miami University Protis, Protis Scholars Program Scholarship, Miami University Red Hawk Excellence Scholarship, Oregon State University Provost Scholarship, Pepperdine University Grant, Syracuse University Dean Scholarship, and Wayne State University Gold Scholarship. Tania Richardson, Central Michigan University Maroon and Gold Merit Scholarship, Eastern Michigan University Emerald Scholarship, Hawaii Pacific University Provost Scholarship, and the Wayne State University Warrior Scholarship. Eli Shueda, Eastern Michigan University Education First Opportunity Scholarship, Eastern Michigan University's Emerald Scholarship, Michigan State University Michigan Resident Scholarship, Michigan State University Student Aid Grant, Wayne State University Department of Music Talent-Based Scholarship, Wayne State University Green Scholarship, and Wayne State University's Promise Grant. Nicole Slaughter, Wayne State University Gold Scholarship. Amir Taylor, Schoolcraft College Trustee Scholarship. Cyan Williams, Xavier University of Louisiana Merit Scholarship. Leah Williams, Central Michigan University Freshman Grant, Central Michigan University Maroon and Gold Merit Scholarship, Eastern Michigan University Education First Scholarship, Grand Valley State University Freshman Grant, Grand Valley State University Grant, Loyola University Grant, Madonna University Trustee Scholarship, Madonna University Alumni Legacy Scholarship, Madonna University Academic Housing Award, Michigan State University Student Aid Grant, Spring Arbor University Trustee Scholarship, and Wayne State University's Gold Scholarship. Now I'd like to present the last award of the evening, the Thurston High School Eagle Award. The Eagle Award is a leadership honor designed with the South Redford vision in mind. The Eagle Award exemplifies our goals in educating students to be the leaders of tomorrow. The criteria for selecting the student to receive this award include such qualities as high academic achievement, participation in and commitment to co-curricular activities at Thurston, and an other-centeredness as demonstrated through volunteerism with caring concern for others. The student chosen for the 2021 Eagle Award and the $1,000 scholarship that goes with it exemplifies all of these traits and more. The student selected to receive this award has been extraordinarily active at Thurston High School and in their community. This student has participated in such activities as helping fellow students through tutoring and volunteering to improve the community as part of the National Honor Society. This student has represented Thurston as a member of the marching band and as a varsity athlete and as a member of the drama club. This student is the president of the Thurston High School Student Council, the Tri-M Music Honor Society, as well as NHS. 
in addition to being a member of the Eagle Scholars Program. Teachers and staff describe this student as one who cares deeply and seeks to make the school and community a better place. As a link leader, she has been deeply committed to improving the student experience. Gandhi is quoted as once saying, it should be our goal to be the change that we wish to see in the world. Through a strong commitment to making improvements, both within and outside of the classroom, and a genuine desire to lead others in this work, this student is a shining example of the Eagle Way. Being such a champion for our school and the entire student body has led our 2021 Eagle Award recipient to truly bring out the best in ourselves and in our entire school community during her four years here at Thurston. And I feel sure that this will continue at Michigan State University in the fall. Her commitment to other centeredness, hard work, and commitment to make Thurston a great place to belong are among the many reasons that we are honoring Maya Price as the 2021 Thurston High School Eagle Award winner. In addition to the scholarship, Maya's name has been engraved on the plaque that will forever be at the base of the Eagle, and she will also receive a personal plaque for her to keep at home. Congratulations, Maya. You've earned it.